I got my second shot for the uh, COVID uh, vaccine, and I appreciate that. I, I'm feeling fine right now, so I don't know about somebody said a second shot does cause problems, but we'll see within the next 24 hours, I would say. Uh, but I'm, I appreciate our health department and all the volunteers that I saw Thursday afternoon at the Hollywood Firehouse. A tremendous amount of people were pushing four lanes of traffic through there, and I was just really surprised how quickly we were moving through. And I think that day they put out over 1,500 uh, vaccine shots. Uh, that's outstanding. And uh, and our only problem now is just like what uh, Dr. Brewster says, is a limit to the amount that we're getting in order to be able to supply uh, the required vaccine. It's just a supply line problem right now. We in the county are doing a tremendous job statewide. We're over 100%, and that's uh, a tribute to these great volunteers we have and uh, Dr. Brewster's leadership in getting this done through our health department. Uh, and with that said, uh, I would like to say also that uh, uh, for those who are uncertain about it, especially our elderly, I know our population has increased in our county with the elderly population. Please give our uh, Commission on Aging, I mean, our Commission, sorry, our Aging and Human Services Division a call at 301 475 4200 1049, and they will help you get in to get this vaccine. It's important since uh, the elderly population are the most vulnerable and uh, the death rate has been high amongst us in that over 65 group. So it's very important that we get this and done. Understanding, just like she explained to us, this even though we get the vaccine, we are still vulnerable. It may be close to 100% getting us out of the hospital, but we can still get this COVID so be very careful, still practice wearing a mask, the six foot distancing, and let's be careful and practice the hygiene methods of washing, et cetera, our hands and uh, continue to work in that direction.